Hello viewers, in this program I will discuss about the ore deposits, various types of ore deposits and processes accountable for their formation. In this program, my focus will be on ore deposits formed during differentiation of mineral masses by their recycling. As a layman, if we understand how these ore deposits have been formed, we can easily say they are formed during differentiation of mineral masses by recycling in either magmatic environment, sedimentary environment or metamorphic cycles of rock formation and their geological structures. During formation of geological structures also these deposits are also formed in those processes. Now, we can classify, we can group various types of ore deposits depending upon the major processes which played important roles such as magmatic process, magmatic sedimentary and metamorphic processes, they are the major important processes and these important processes they play important role in the formation of ore deposits. First I will deal with the magmatic deposits, magmatic deposits further we can classify or group them into early, middle and late stages. In case of early magmatic deposits, the submarine, spilite, keratophyre or volcanic origin that is process number 1, peridotite deposits, peridotite is a rock, during formation of peridotitic rocks mineral deposits are also formed, gabbro pyroxenite dunite is also a rock association during the evolution or development of gabbro pyroxenite dunite rocks ore deposits are also formed. Plagio granite cyanide, this is also a rock type, the evolution of rock type is also associated with the formation of ore deposits. Now, in case of middle magmatic deposits, the two types of rocks granodiorite and granite, these two rocks also held responsible for the formation of ore deposits. And third one is late late magmatic deposits, late magmatic deposits they are small intrusions of various compositions. In previous early and middle subdivisions their composition is well defined, but in late stage composition is not well defined although their size is very small. They are of small size of various composition, surface formation of volcanic origin of ore deposit is also classified in this category. So, this is very brief introduction about the magmatic process. Now, I will take up the sedimentary processes. What are the sedimentary processes and what are the sedimentary type of ore deposits they have been formed? The first one is fragmental. Fragmental means clastic or breaking of sediments. Sediments break down itself is initiating process of ore formation. Then carbonate formation, carbonate rocks they are formed by precipitation in water and during precipitation certain ore deposits are also formed. Then chemosite formation, siliceous rock formation and bituminous formations. Bituminous means where an organic carbon is playing important role and most of the coal deposits coal deposits are derived out of bituminous sedimentary processes. The next middle one is flesh deposit. Flesh deposit also give rise to ore deposits. Clastic biolithic deposits, they also give rise to ore deposits. Then next category, the category number third which is late sedimentary deposits is moles. Moles also give rise to ore deposits, variegated sandstone, variegated sedimentary rocks, they also produce various types of ore deposits. Then stratiform uh, ore deposits, stratiform ore deposits are formed during stratification of ore deposits. Stratification means layer by layer deposition of sediments when it takes place sometimes a particular layer of ore deposit is formed. So, this way also ore deposits are formed. Then Next one is hydrocarbon containing deposits. Hydrocarbon 
the carbon which is precipitated in the form of organisms or in the form of a plant or plant material it gets precipitated and forms a hydrocarbon deposit. Most of the hydrocarbon deposits they are derived out of hydrocarbon containing material deposited in a basin. With this introduction let me tell you the broad category of ore deposits. Type of ore deposits they can be classified broadly, broadly classified into magmatic, sedimentary and metamorphic. How these deposits have been classified? The major contribution to the formation of ore deposit that is magmatic contribution, sedimentary contribution. If sedimentary contribution is major then the rock deposit is qualified as sedimentary type of ore deposit. Metamorphic process when played important role we call it as metamorphic deposits. Another point which I want to discuss is ore deposits process and formation several ore deposits that exist, but no two ore deposits are alike. In nature across the world you may find hundreds of ore deposits, but there is there are no ore deposits which are similar to each other. This is, uh, this is a very peculiar phenomena. Then ore deposits differ in if I say they are not alike then how do they differ? Ore deposits differ in mineralogy that is the most important aspect texture, content, shape, size and other features. And third point these ore deposits they are formed by diverse processes. Diverse means different types of processes they operate which gave rise to ore deposits. The ore deposit processes and formation more than one process is operative during formation of ore deposits. Not only one deposit is held responsible, but there are several processes they are playing important role during formation of ore deposits which contributed to the development of a ore deposit. The elements in ore deposits we are derived from earth crustal rocks. All the ore deposits whatever ore deposits which are present on the earth they have been derived either from the earth crustal rocks or from upper mantle or from molten magmas. These are the three major important sources where from the material was derived and gave rise to ore deposits. All elements were derived from magma or igneous rocks all elements magma contains almost all elements which are present in the periodic table. Then there are some important tips important notes what are the important notes about 200 minerals covered under economic minerals across the world 200 minerals they are there which are considered as economic minerals out of these of these 118 known elements if you see the periodic table you may find there are 118 elements. Only 8 elements out of these 118 elements only 8 elements are present in the earth crust in the amount greater than 1 percent. Rest of the elements they are less than 1 percent. Now the question arises how these less than 1 percent elements they increase their concentration. There are natural processes which we are held responsible for increase in the concentration. 99.5 percent of the earth crust is composed of oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, calcium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, titanium, hydrogen, phosphorus, manganese and fluorine. Remaining elements of economic value contribute 0.5 percent they include the 0.5 percent includes platinum, gold, silver, copper, lead, tin, nickel and other elements. Now, geologic concentration processes are necessary 
in order to collect diffused elements into a mineral deposits. Diffused elements, elements are distributed throughout the rock, but these processes, the ore forming processes, they contribute to concentrate, they concentrate the elements at one place and gave rise to the formation of ore deposit. Agencies, now the question arises, processes are taking place, but what are the agencies? What are the agents which are held responsible for the formation of ore deposits? The most predominant agent is the water. Water is the major important agent which plays dominant role in the ore genesis. Genesis means ore formation. The next one is the temperature. Some of the processes they operate at low temperatures, some of the processes they operate at higher temperatures. So, broadly speaking temperatures they have been grouped as low temperature processes and high temperature processes. Low temperature processes they are operating on most of the surface conditions, but high temperature processes they operate in the deeper level of the earth crust or in the upper part of the mantle. Other agencies include magma pressure, gases, vapors, solids in solutions. The third one the most important point is atmosphere. Atmosphere and country rock play dominant role. Atmosphere includes the rains, water, precipitation, water precipitation, water precipitation actually this water meteoritic water plays very important role. It acts as a solvent and in this solvent under certain conditions the elements get dissolved and they are transported to a certain places where adverse or favorable conditions are there and these elements get precipitated. So, atmosphere contributes a very important factor. Now comes the mode of formation of minerals. What are the modes, how they have been formed as part of the larger processes? There are larger processes, but there are smaller processes in which the mode of formation of mineral deposit normally takes place. Let me summarize what we have learned that includes types of ore deposits, resulting ore deposits, the various types of agencies which are held responsible for the formation of ore deposits and their classification we will discuss in the next part of this program.